Okay, I'm trying this out. First unboxing video. I was hoping to do a triple, but one of the companies, Hero Freight, if you're familiar with them, have gone out of business. So I'm only doing two this month. It's still technically January, so I'm going to go ahead and do my January unboxing and see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to start with Geek Fuel. I'm not known for my patients. I, of course, open these as soon as they come in, but here's the unboxing. Probably my favorite shirt so far from one of my subscription boxes, the history of time travel. Start with the H.G. Wells time machine. The TARDIS, then the DeLorean from Back to the Future, phone booth from Bill and Ted, the Terminator, Energy Orb, whatever you want to call it, and of course the hot tub time machine. Great t-shirt, fits well. Uh, if you have subscription to Geek Fuel, and uh, I will probably already know that one. I definitely enjoy it. Okay, um, then they had the Fuel the Fat Flash Contest. Did not land, of course. I lost it. Moving on, we have, of course, the Geek Fuel magazine. Love some of the stuff in there. I'll get back to that. Okay, I got the Orange Sword Sours with the Link tin. Pretty cool little tin. I haven't tried the sour yet. I have to leave that out to them later. I was very excited about this one because I heard about the Resident Evil and was not disappointed, of course. With the enamel umbrella pen. Very nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on, probably I'm going to have to come up with some sort of banner or something to hang all my pins on, because between Geek Fuel and Loot Crate, which is what I'll be doing, get a lot of pins. Okay, uh, let's see, moving, let's see, I got back in the box. Moving on, the flash item from this crate. Very good. Star Labs coffee. If I drink a lot of coffee, this mug will definitely come in handy. Got a few different mugs from the loot crate and this crate and here crate and I don't think I get any mugs from um, one up box which is one of the other subscriptions I use sometimes. But hey whatever. Free game of course, always fun. Haven't tried this one out yet. Not sure if it'll be up my alley, but hey it's free game, I'll try it. And then we got the poster. Let's unwrap it the right way. For the Jakku Comic Con. If you have not seen Star Wars yet, definitely worth going to see. This was definitely appreciated. Um, open, maybe I'll see mirrored in one of the conventions coming up this year, more next year. Okay. As I was saying, Geek Fuel Magazine, they definitely have some fun with this. First page. Have you donated to the Umbrella Blood Drive? Get a free pin. And of course, going to the Resident Evil Origins collection. They remastered first and second games, probably the best of the series. Uh, do a cosplay feature for Anamia, one of the top cosplayers out there. Um, a little blurb about the Flash season coming back. Don't want to share the spoiler if you haven't seen it or if you've got a DVR or whatever. Uh, it's time linear. Break down the shirt. In case you didn't know what any of the, the icons were. I don't know who wouldn't, but I'm a geek, so I'm really not I'm going to give a bit based it on Monster Love. Cool little charity organization they got featured. Um, different unboxing YouTube videos. Hopefully maybe one of these times I'll be featured. A little bit about the game, and here it is, the ad for the Comic-Con for Jakku. Very amusing, they've got it, went into a lot of detail on this, I thought it was great. Really helped tie it together, and my wife's least favorite part of the magazine, the ultimate geek gift guide. My wife's really cool, she does not mind me getting these boxes, and is in fact joining me on some of the collections. She started her own pop collection now, so I'm be getting her a subscription box or something for that. Put um, so this back in the box, and I will move on to Ukraine. Like I said, that's probably my favorite shirt, I've already won it. 
Yes, it's clean. I washed it. Just got it out of the dryer. Well, hanging dryer. I don't want to tranquil shirts because I like them. This is one of the other ones, the Super Rangers. Um, might have been a one-up box. And I don't really keep track of where the shirts come from. Yeah, it looked great. Um, giant rubber band came in the box. I think it may have been a mistake. I didn't see anything on the book lid in here about what the rubber band was, so it was handy to hold the box close. Yeah, it has sealed itself, so there we go. Is it like a brand new box? This month's theme was Invasion, so start out with the Invasion pin. Um, this pin unlocks something epic. It's got a code on the back. You get the pin, you go one line, and I think this one unlocks a comic book, it said. The, one of my favorite movies is the Fifth Element, Lulu Multipass, which has Lulu Dallas, the address, all the information. Pretty cool multipass. I'm a big fan of the replicas that we get in Loot Crate. Always appreciate it. Exhaust flashlight. I camp a lot. I travel a lot. Probably gonna throw this in my car. Be handy. I haven't seen the X Files relaunch. Mixed feelings about it because it's been a while since the X Files went off the air, but I'll probably give it a shot. Next up, we have the Face Hugger Flash 8. Not quite sure how to feel about this one. Evil alien creature, you're going to plant an embryo in your throat, but it's a soft, cute plushie. Whatever. <laughs> they make it work. Okay, and I have my Loot Crate official member card. I will hide the number, of course, but I guess I've been with them for a year. I got first card with one of my first cards. I don't know. Okay. I unfortunately did not get the cool colored one, but Space Invader little icon. And, uh, there we go. You can see it is multicolored and three-dimensional. Not yet decided where I'm going to put that. I have a little shelf, but I have to get a bookcase when we get the guest room set up. And it's probably where we see most of my videos from when that is done. They were nice enough to include the batteries for the flashlight. Always a nice touch. We have the X Files themed shirt. You know, the giant alien in the, the lights there. Looks like Mulder and Scully running from them. And there's, of course, the eyes glowing above the saucers. Looks like it's glow in the dark. Pretty cool looking shirt. Have not worn this one yet. Okay. Invasion of the Mini Prints. This I thought was a really cool touch. We have Mini Print of War of the Worlds. Very nice. Looks like the original movie poster. And The Day the Earth Stood Still. Not the remake with Keanu Reeves. This is the original one. Alright, but definitely cool. I have a stack of posters I need to hang up once I have an area I can claim as my own and geek out as much as I want. I always very understanding, but I don't want to push it. That and, yeah, that's really good for decorating theme. Okay, we have the, the box with Blue Creek. It is always entertaining because if you flip it inside out, you get an invasion video game. There. Um, again, once I have some room to set these up, I'll be flipping these boxes inside out and I'll have a whole setup of the different scenes that you do. Okay. I really need a bigger area to do this on so I don't look so clustered. But, oops, I just buried the box. Okay. This month's theme is Invasion. How to survive an alien invasion. X Files Quick Start Guide. Q&A with January's t-shirt to designer. Okay, open it up. The loot is out there. Okay, Invasion Contest. Enter to win the prizes. If you don't work as much as I do, unfortunately. I don't have time to enter most of the contests. Um, 
and they do have different looters from Instagram, I'm assuming. Uh, yes. Use hashtag loot crate on these on your photos and we're gonna pick you for our next issue. I may have to do that next time I'm downloading selfies, but I might start. How to survive an alien invasion for geeks and gamers. He's often scrutinize all literature and avoid monuments. Well, that makes sense. If you know your classic alien invasion movies. Uh, memorize patterns of attack, wear a helmet, and pick a side. Explore every coincidence. And as a final rule, when in doubt, surround yourself with furry animals and make sarcastic comments. Aliens tend to avoid destroying cute life forms and lucky hero types. Some of us are in better luck than others with that. Um, they took on the truth of X Files. They show you what the Mega Crate got gets. I have yet to win one of these. Would love to win one of these. Look great if you're paying attention. I'd love to win one of these. <laughs> I doubt that helps, but can't hurt. Uh, Everyday Invaders. It's the different creatures and plants that are actually invading different areas. Uh, New Year's resolution: a T-shirt every crate. This is very important. They have great shirts, including the Tron Prime mashup shirt they've shown here. Uh, let's see. The crossword puzzle. Give me a chance now. The art is out there, which is the interview. Um, and then it breaks down what all you got in case you were unsure of any of it. So we have the exclusive X Files The Day Has Come t shirt, the exclusive Alien Face Sucker plushie, which is pretty cool, exclusive Space Invaders vinyl figure. I love all the exclusives they give you. Exclusive Fifth Element Prop Replica Multi Pass. I've got the Prop Replica um, Hydra Pin. I've gotten the Shield ID badge gotten the time crate that is loaded with all sorts of stuff. Really enjoy the loot crate. Exclusive invasion mini art prints. Exclusive LED, LED uh, flashlight. Brand new and exclusive 2000 January 2016 loot pin. So the entire crate was exclusive to loot crate. Uh, if you enjoy loot crate or my boxing videos, please comment below. Let me know how you think I did. If I can do it improve or if you just liked it, and want to say hi. Uh, welcome to all comments. Leave them below. I'll read them. And feel free to sign up for Loot Crate. I'm putting the subscription in the data below. And I'll do another subscription in probably two weeks, maybe three weeks. Depends on when the next boxes get here. I'll probably do a group unboxing unless they are spaced out a lot, in which case I'll just do individual unboxing videos. Um, let me know how this works. Thank you.